Man, G-Man, AMW Wrestling, Appalachian Mountain Wrestling has all kinds of action here tonight, and we are worldwide on pay-per-view. So you people cheer. Boo for who you like or who you don't like. Cheer for who you like because you can be seen all around the world. People will buy the pay-per-view here tonight and see you. Right, G-Man? Talk is over. Tonight is the night we're going to see who's going to walk away with King of the Ring. That's right, brother. King of the Mountains Tournament is here tonight, and it is live on pay-per-view. You're going to see Marty Clay against the man who trained him, Kyle Maggard. And you're going to see Cousin Big Frank against Sean Evans. Going to be a great match. Big Cousin Frank is always a fan favorite here. I'm sure this crowd is ready for Big Cousin Frank. And brother, the return of the big man, Big Rig, Jake Blake, $5,000 Body Slam Challenge, G-Man. Can anybody in the back step up and Body Slam, Big Jake? Well, Coach K was hopped up earlier. He thought he might enter, but I don't know. What do you think? Well, let's give him a shot and see what happens. All right, another King of the Mountains tournament match. The Blue Chipper, Chase Emery, and the Mass Monster Misery. This Mass Monster Misery. Huge guy, doesn't speak. You never know what's going through his mind. We'll see if Chase has what it takes tonight. Oh, boy, he's a big one. I saw him, man. He, do, yeah, he doesn't talk, and he's very intimidating. And then a young man who's been on quite a roll. He took Stan Sierra to the limit recently, Adrian Alexander, as he faces one of the most unique stars, third generation. And I tell you what, he's on fire and all around the world right now, especially in the NWA, A.J. Kazana. This is going to be a match that I look forward to myself to see who's going to come out number one there. Yeah, plus the triple threat and everything else. But man, oh man, the main event of the evening for the AMW Championship title, the heavyweight championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of North American wrestling. And G-Man, probably the two Hottest stars right now, Stan Sierra and Chris Michaels, the headliner, go one-on-one. -on -one. Two experienced individuals. A lot of ring time, but we got to remember, the heavyweight champion, Stan Sierra, has held that title for two consecutive years. Will he keep it tonight? Stan's one of the best wrestlers, one of the toughest guys I've ever seen, man, and he's held that for over two years with only a very brief interruption at one time. And I'm going to tell you what, Chris Michaels has been all over the world. He's worked for WWE, WCW, all of them, and tonight, one-on-one -on -one, right here on Pay-Per-View. Let's get this party started. Are you ready, Jackson? Let's get it going! Welcome to Pay-Per-View with d, d Sports Network, AMW Wrestling, right here tonight. We are here at Breathitt County, or yeah, Breathitt County Arena. Coach K, we got JR. I'm the Little Dipper, Daryl McCoy. Coach, we got some great matchups here. I promise, if you're not here, you're not missing out because you can watch it on pay per view as well. Tell a friend, Coach. You better uh, believe it. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. We are live in a living color. Bloody breath it. Good old JR. It, listen, it don't get any bigger tonight. It is the king of the mountains. AMW pay-per-view extravaganza. Yeah, you're going to – hey, listen, you might want to be tuning in pay-per-view 
you might be five miles down the road. Come on, head down. They're hanging from the rafters, JR. That's exactly right, and I'm just proud to be right here. King of the Mountains tonight, guys. D&D Sports, does it get any better? It don't get any bigger. It don't get any better. Little Dipper, Daryl McCoy. I am stoked. The match at... The first match is the one that's drawing my interest right now. You got Kyle Maggard versus Marty Clay. Listen, Kyle Maggard, the pride of Perry County. Coach, I don't know this match right here. Kyle Maggard, I've heard a lot of rumors around that Marty Clay's been talking smack. Kyle Maggard is not liking it right no, now. No, you better believe it. You talk about Kyle Maggard. You talk about Marty Clay. Mentors. Friends, yeah, competitive spirit, competitive nature. Absolutely. You know it as well as anybody, JR. Yes, this absolutely. rivalry. This is going to be so interesting to see how this thing plays out. I'm especially interested in this match because of the behind the scenes stuff. Yes, absolutely. Well, we've got the maestro behind us telling us, guess what? We're getting ready for our opening bout. Kyle Maggard. Right. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, we're, we ready to get, we're ready to go? Yeah, Kyle Maggard. Ready to get kick things off. You know, G-Man, he called up with Marty Clay earlier in the week. Sounds like this guy's on fire. He's talking about maybe you've not been as traveled lately, not competing as normal. Uh, I don't know. What's your thoughts on this match? You know, JR, uh, everybody's asking me about this match. Everybody's talking about Loving. King of the Mountains in Jackson, yeah. Kentucky. This Saturday night on pay-per-view pay with D&D &D Sports. D &D. Everybody keeps asking, you know, they're like, Kyle and Marty matched up together. Oh, well, what's going to happen? Oh, well, I can tell you what's going to happen, JR. Kyle Magger's going to do what Kyle Magger does, and he's going to walk into Jackson, Kentucky, where Kyle is no stranger. I won the AMW Championship in Jackson, Kentucky. I won multiple championships in multiple sports right there in Breathitt County High School. I have a history, okay? Yeah. I have a history of winning stuff in Jackson, Kentucky at Breathitt County High School. And the King of the Mountains is going to be no different. Now, don't get me wrong. I hate I have to wrestle Marty. Okay? I hate it. I do. It is, but it is what it is. Yeah. We're both grown men. We're competitors. Okay? You know, we've got to go in. And the thing about winning this tournament is we've got three matches to win in one night. True. It's True. not like it's spread out. So, you know, Marty, I'll give Marty credit. He's making a name. He's winning all these championships. Mm -hmm. And you're right. He is, he's traveling all the time, and Kyle Maggard's been at the house. But you know what? When you're trying to make a name for yourself, you travel. Kyle Maggard's already made a name for himself. When Kyle Maggard wrestles, okay, it's big money. All right? Kyle Maggard picks and chooses when he wrestles. Understandably so. And it means something when Kyle Maggard climbs in the ring. Okay, people want to see it. Now, like I said, got to win three matches. Mm. It starts with Marty. Well, we are in Marty's backyard. Practically his backyard, true. His hometown, he's got the home court advantage. Yet again, I've walked into Jackson, Kentucky many a time and come out on top. And this Saturday night, King of the Mountains, I hate to do my little brother like that, but you know, sometimes you gotta take your brother out back, his brother's fight, bend them over, blister their hide, and let them know, you know, mm. who's still the big dog. Okay, okay. well, certainly a very confident Kyle Maggard. Fans, if you can't come out to the match, catch us on pay-per-view with D, D Sports. Kyle, good talking to you. Ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest is the first quarterfinal match in the King of the Mountain Tournament, scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, his weight coming in tonight from Hazard, Kentucky, weighing in at 292 pounds, Kyle Magger!
Jackson, Kentucky, weighing at 210 pounds, Marty Clay. All right, Thomas Rainey. Open and bowed action. Kyle Maggard. Oh, yeah, Marty Clay. It's the friendship. It's the mentorship, JR. This is it right here. This is what it's come down to. And let me tell you something. Both men, they've got to be on their middle game. They have to be on their middle game. Absolutely. You're talking about two of the very best the Commonwealth has to offer. Getting ready to square off. JR, listen, you're talking about uh, differentiating styles somewhat as well. Yes, yes. It's Kyle Maggard taking control of the match. But no, sir, it's going to be Marty Clay backing out of that. He was aware. He was aware of what was going to happen, and he goes to the ropes. He said, easy, easy. I've, I've, yes. I've worked with you. You've trained me. Hey, listen, I know what I know what you're bringing to the That's table. Exactly. That's exactly right. This is going to be interesting because Kyle Maggard, being the teacher, if you would, taking on the student in this case. But let me tell you, sell no man short. Absolutely not. Uh, collar and arm uh, tie up there, um, uh, Jr. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Mm. He ah, said, he I'll said, what, he, he says, I just that. about got you. <laughs> he said, uh, and also, look, he's saying I'm a step too fast, maybe a step no. too quick. Yeah. I'm ahead of you one step. Yeah, but, uh, there has to be ego on, on both parts. Oh, no doubt about it. Uh, anytime you step in a squared circle, anytime you've had the success these two individuals have had, you better believe there's some ego involved. That's exactly right. So well traveled. They have been all through every promotion. They have been all across the country. They've wrestled everywhere. And let me say, let's not cut them short on their physique. You've got, look at Marty Clay out here and Kyle Maggard. He's a specimen as well uh, with the weight advantage in this match. Absolutely. Kyle Maggard probably a little bit with the strength strength advantage. Uh, you're talking about Marty Clay, speed, obviously, right? And we're getting ready to test the strength here. Right now, a big home court advantage for Marty Clay right now. These fans are making it no secret who they want to win this Beautiful match. Beautiful step over, and he went straight into that side headlock. Absolutely, Daryl McCoy. It's been two-plus years since Marty Clay has wrestled here in Jackson, Kentucky. Wow. Maggard wow. hit the mat hard there. The big man went down. Let's see. But. He answers with a beautiful hip toss, and Kyle Maggard's on his game, full scoop, and slam in the center of the ring. What action we have, guys. Right out of the gate here. You couldn't ask for anything more. The weight advantage is proving to be too much right now for Marty Clay. And Daryl McCoy, as you mentioned, the crowd, right, the fan support solid, solidly behind Marty Clay. Yeah, JR, this right here, you, you've got to see these two guys a lot right now. Yes. What does Marty Clay got to do? to overcome this weight advantage. Well, I'm going to tell you something. His speed and agility. Uh, this man, he, he's resolute. He's uh, by no means a giver-upper. Absolutely not. You're getting a uh, close-up view from camera two by ringside. I'll tell you, d, &D Sports Springs. Guys, let me just say, if you're not here, we hope that you're watching and being a part of this action from pay-per-view, but it's going to be Kyle would step over and over. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful arm drag. Stand and drop kick, Marty Clay. Caught him in the upper body, so, and the side headlock. These guys are, they are wrestling. They are wrestling. The name of the marquee is wrestling, and that's what they're doing. Absolutely. You bought a ticket here. You're watching on dndsports.com. You know you're watching the very best that the Commonwealth has to offer in the AMW. King of the Mountains. Oh. We're oh just getting started. Nice job using the leg scissors. Oh, beautiful kip up. Again, that agility. Let me let me say, Marty Clay never ceases to amaze me. Man, this guy, Mr. Flex, I call him, he can just flat out go. You hear the Marty chants erupt here in Breathe County. Kyle Maggard, he's, uh, he's having to think about this a little. Yeah, kind of re- Calibrating, so to say, Jr. If any match survives is, is a human chess match, it has to be this one, guys. Absolutely. Though 
you, as you mentioned, Kyle Maggard has trained Marty Clay. Listen, it's kind of the styles are a little different. Yes. He's in the school yard headlock there. Up and over. Let's see what happens here. Beautiful leap drop. Man, he had to get up to get up there, but he's there. Where's he saying? No. Oh, no. Al oh. Kyle Maggard, I didn't expect Marty that. Marty Clay does but not Marty hit Clay. the ground. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Look out. And drop. Hmm. He stepped. Kyle had to go with the momentum. The momentum, the strength in the lower legs of Marty Clay backlashing and pulling Kyle Maggard to the outside. Uh, coach. Unbelievable. Coach, the, the count is on, JR. The, uh, coach, this is unbelievable. What we are seeing right now is a history making match. He's, oh, my goodness. Over that top. Unbelievable. The fans. Loving what they're seeing out of Marty, Marty Clay. Clay. He is on fire, guys. How the tides have turned here. Momentum has shifted, Daryl McCoy. Absolutely. Marty Clay has the advantage right now over Carl Maggard. Taking action back to the ring. Wow. Unbelievable. This match alone worth the price of admission. Watch out. The duck go under behind. Look out. But no, sir. Carl Maggard again. Kyle's rather surprised at this point. Switch in into the corner, but not this time. Kyle Maggard. Oh, he climbs the ropes. Backflip. Drop kick. Big drop kick, coach. He's got the big. Man, he's got I Kyle rattled. You've got to get up there and able to kick Kyle anywhere with that drop kick above the chest. Look at this. And man, nice job by Marty Clay. Marty Clay making an impressive showing for himself here. North nice arm drag takedown there. Daryl, Marty Clay's controlling tempo as well. Yes. At his pace, he's controlling things. Yes, he is. Good observation there. The fans are chanting Marty. You see the signs in the stands, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of Marty Clay fans here. Dare I say 99.9% .9 behind the hometown hero, Marty Clay. You can't take anything away from either of these athletes, guys. But, as I said before, they're resilient. They can go out there and go and go. And let me tell you, that's what it's going to take tonight. Ooh, oh, my hard knee to the noggin. Oh, my, Manny. Oh, my oh. Power bomb in the center of the ring. Almost put him through the ring, Daryl McCoy. Marty Clay went for the Frankensteiner, and he paid for hey, it. Paid hey, dearly. One, two, and no, sir. Wow. A normal man would have been counted out at this point. Absolutely. Kyle Maggard even had the leg hook, uh, Jr. Wow. So, listen, that you, you kick out of that. Yeah. You talk about resiliency. You talk about toughness. Marty yes. Clay has it. That's exactly right. And that's showing experience on the part of Kyle Maggard, hooking that leg. Absolutely. You know, he, uh, he didn't just come down the pack. Both these guys well-traveled, as we said. Back off the ropes again. That's going to be Maggard. Oh, he's got him sleeper. in a sleeper. Yeah. Yes, he has, and he's in the center of the ring. If you notice, Maggard's trying to focus his man on being in the center of the ring. You're exactly right. Again, it's a chess match. As you said, Jr. it's about, listen, does my style, does my strategy, uh, is who who wins out there, Jr. right? That's exactly right. Drops down, and that chin drop. Maggard yeah. stunned from that when he finds a neutral corner. He's going to have to shake this one off, Coach. Yeah, definitely stunned him right underneath that chin. Marty Clay, watch out. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, he manages to hang onto that rope. Comes back. Mm. Hard Le forearm. Legal forearm. Totally Ab legal. Absolutely. But Maggard Ooh. falls into those ropes. It looked like mm, Marty Clay might have straddled that turnbuckle. Here we go. Kyle Maggard up top. Are we going to oh, get the uh, suplex? Oh, my Duh, goodness. We are not about to see this. Oh, my goodness. Kyle Maggard out oh the top rope. He does. Oh, my goodness. Dude. He dropped him. Wow. What a suplex my from the top rope. Time. There's this no dude. way he's surviving this. Let's see. One, two, and oh. <laughs> wow. Two and seven eighths, was it? Unbelievable. Say it ain't so, Marty. Unbelievable. The My goodness. Kyle Maggard feeling confident now. He may be making a mistake taking this little breather here. Let's see what happens. Don't sell Marty Clay short. When you dig down deep, a little something extra, that fan support that Marty yeah. Clay has you just believe. keeps him going. That hometown advantage always comes in handy in a match, let me tell you. 
Marty play. Oh, I thought oh, he ran yeah. into that one, but he ducked, yeah. and he ducked yep. again. Yeah. Kyle Magrum for the clothesline. Oh! oh! Wow, what a collision. And I'll tell you what, Kyle Maggard got more of the rib cage of Marty Clay on that one. I was, absor oh, yeah, I, I was observing that. That's exactly what you call that one to a T, Coach. The count's on. Both guys still down here. And a five count. Who gets, uh, a lot of times, who gets to their feet yeah. first here, Daryl McCoy. Yeah. Eight count, and they're both to their feet here. The hook, oh. the slide, is he going to slide it? And he get him. Oh, two. Carl Maggard somehow got out of that. Small package yep. going. Small package. Center of the ring, two. Mm. Mm. Close line, no good for Maggard again. What a match we have here. Unbelievable. It's going to be Maggard. That shot to the midsection there. Look out. Beautiful sunset. Will he go? Yes, he had to go with the gravity. Two. Ooh. Oh, head scissors got him. Yeah. yeah, two count. That escape helped him there. Um, this is interesting to see how the – Oh, my uh, goodness. Uh -oh. Look out. Look out. Here's this special move. No, he got out of it. Over the top. Look out. Oh. He hooks the legs. He got him. Oh, Marty Clay. They got him. They are. Marty Clay advances. Can you believe it? Marty Clay coming out victorious. Unbelievable. Dale McCoy, Marty Clay advances in the King of the Mountains tournament, beating the veteran Kyle Maggard in an unbelievable opening round matchup. Look. These fans are cheering on Marty Clay just like he's Rudy right now, overcoming the heavy weight advantage to What Kyle about Maggard. it? What uh, about it? Again, Marty Play proving to be the successor here. Wow, what a matchup. Kyle Maggard, he's still astonished. He's still in disbelief, Coach. Still shocked. Still shocked. Uh, Kyle Maggard, as you say, kind of still, he thought he had him in the reversal by Marty Clay. Gets the W, the pinfall. Marty Clay advances yes. to the second round. Yes. Kyle Maggard. Okay. As we follow Kyle out here. Well, wow, look at this. Kyle says, I gave it my best shot. I mean, it looks like he's a good sport about it. Absolutely. And the fans love Kyle as well, I'll tell you. But uh, Kyle Maggard gave, it, gave him his best shot, just came up a little wow. short. Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. Kyle Magger taking pics and photos with the fans here in Breathitt County. We've got a packed house. They're hanging from the rafters, JR. We love it. We love it. The action is just getting started. Kyle Magger. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute, JR. Hey, what's going on here? Oh. Coach, are you seeing this? Unbelievable. McCoy, what's going on? McCoy, are oh. you seeing what's going on who? here? Dale McCoy, who, who is, is this? It? Who is this? He, he. Uh. Kyle Maggard has been attacked. Who uh, is this mess man? Who, and what is, who is that, that JR? Zodiac. Zodiac. That's Zodiac. And he's out here. What is he doing? He has a Kyle metal Maggard. rod giving the business to Kyle Maggard. My goodness. Unbelievable. Taking the steel rod to his throat, JR. Unbelievable. We, yeah, we need somebody you, out here. You got to get the police in here. Somebody. We, yeah. Somebody. We got the monitor on back there in the so, back. Can we get somebody out here? My goodness. We need to clear the locker room here. Kyle well, Maggard has he just hurt. absolutely he been brutally hurt. attacked by the Zodiac, Daryl McCoy. Here comes the refs. Man. Unbelievable. It, just on his way back to the dressing room. Cannot believe this. The Zodiac making his presence felt early here in AMW King of the Mountains here. Kyle Maggard, ref officials helping him to his feet. Oh, my goodness. Kyle Maggard. Oh, heck broke loose. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Man. What I just, a start that, to this unbelievable pay-per-view. King know, of the Mountains, this JR. Story, it's, it's a whirlwind. Unbelievable. It's a whirlwind, and it's picking up more debris as it goes. It, it's unbelievable. We're getting ready to go to match number two, Daryl McCoy. Who do we got match number two? Number two. Yes, sir. We've got Sean Evans with 
Big Frank. Big Frank. Yes, sir. Oh, JR, tell oh, us a little bit. Big Frank. Let me tell you, Big Frank, well traveled, fan favorite. Man, they just love this guy. And, oh. okay. He's as country as corn fried taters, guys. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Big rig, JR. Big rig, J. Break. One into the body slam yep. challenge at this time. Yes, Two. sir. Okay. All right. A little change. A little change here, but let me say this, fans. This man is nothing less than a monster. He oh, is. doubt about it. This guy is massive. I don't know if the ring's going to hold him. Look at this. Almost 500 pounds, maybe over 500, JR. Look at it, just steps right over top of the ring ropes. Man, stepping over that top rope. Can you imagine being able to do that? Unbelievable. Oh, -ho! What, what do we have here? <laughs> Unbelievable. I like the entrance you're talking about. Glitter, you're talking about charisma. You're talking about bringing the energy on the 10, JR. My goodness, I'll tell you what. If I had those, if I had those dance steps, that is, um, yeah, it's Party Bank Cameron, he's here. Party Bank Cameron is here. So let me just say this. This guy is full of moves. Can his moves. Yep. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, oh right into the choke oh. slam. Choke slammed him straight to hell down the coin. Wow! Big cousin Frank. No, Not big, 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 big rig. That. Yes, big rig. Jake break. Big rig. Jake break with that monstrous power. Slam. Look at that. again. That choke slam, unbelievable. Over 500 pounds. My goodness. This match didn't last. Oh my. Okay, maybe save the last. Longer than we can say, Big Rig, Jake Rig. I've told you, yeah. <laughs> JR. This, this man is a monster. A true monster, no doubt. This, oh, he's vicious. Once he goes, it's seven foot. Is he a seven footer? Uh, he, he is approaching that 500 okay. pound mark. Wait a minute. arrives on the scene because he has what it takes, Coach. We're about to find out in a hurry. He's letting the fans know if you were here during the pre-show, he told Worthick County, he said, there's nothing to do here in Worthick County but fight. And he came to fight, Jr. Yes. He said, bring it. We got fans saying. Some of the baddest Steel Mephers alive hail from right here in yeah. Jackson, Kentucky. You better believe it. I'm looking forward to this match. The bell has sounded, and here we go. Look at the arm span. Look at this. My goodness. He can just about go from corner to corner with his hands. Look at this. Now, Coach, this is the body slam challenge. Yeah. $5,000 if they can body slam the big fella. Absolutely. The party man didn't last long, JR. He's gone. He partied out quick. I'll say that. But look right here. This man here. He seems to be adequate Bra on getting the job done. Braden Marshall, he has to slam Big Jake in order to win the 5,000. We're going to see. Big Jake can win the match any way possible, but to win the $5,000, they have to be a body There we slam. go, yes. the first attempt. Big Jake, no, you're not moving the big fella like that. Braden Marshall. 
He You're is gonna... planted. He is planted. Okay. Ooh, nice not, forearm. Not, not moving the big, not moving the monster. Didn't budge him. Okay, well. Mm. Big Greg, he shows. He shows that upper body Ooh, strength. Another wow, forearm man, to the just, throat. Met him with that forearm, and I'll tell you, that's he's a slugger, isn't he? Absolutely. Big Jake trying his own uh, right. his version of the slam, right? Not getting Marshall uh, almost. Oh. Both men go down. Marshall may have hurt his back Dude. on that lift attempt. Kind of a la Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, when yes. that initial slam, right? The Absolutely. holster hurt his back. Well, you've got resistance from both wrestlers, and then they meet. Hey, let me tell you, there's going to be some friction there. Absolutely. Listen, uh-oh. Oh. Oh, my. Man. Uh, almost an avalanche, right? He just set him in that corner. Right. And Marshall moves oh, at the man. last second. Jake for the Greg goes right into the turnbuckle. He's hammering away at the back of the big fella. Look, Look at what forearms on this guy. Man, I tell you, Braden's got him in there. But watch out. The size of Big Jake. Unbelievable. Oh! oh. A big boot right into Marshall. Stuns him. Right in. Oh, no. Look out. Oh, blocks goes the Marshall. And goes for the leg. And that's where uh, Marshall can possibly – Sees this moment, sees this opportunity, Daryl, to slam that Big Jake. That was a size 18 boot to the kisser will go. Absolutely. Wow. Look at this. This guy has opened up. I'm afraid that Marshall is uh, more vicious than I anticipated. He is really going after Big Jake. Yes, absolutely. Got to love Marshall's aggressiveness here. Well, he's caught again. Look out. Oh, my goodness. Right straight mm -hmm. through the rim. Ring. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. It's over. Boy. It's over. Oh, Big Jake. Big Jake Break coming out. <laughs> Big Rig. Jake Break coming out. Victorious. Unbelievable. No $5,000 no being body. taken here today. Party, party man goes down. Marshall goes down. Big Jake. Oh, gee. Celebrating with the fans at ringside. He is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Rainey, the maestro's with us. We're going to hit a break, and we'll be right back here. AMW, King of the Mountains, extravaganza. We're back here, AMW Wrestling, right here in Jackson, Kentucky, at the Breathitt County Coliseum. Daryl McCoy, Coach Kevin Keithley, and we got JR over here to the right. JR. You better believe you have me here tonight. What not miss it for anything. DD Sports bringing this thing. Let me tell you, folks, if you're not out here now, we hope you're watching on pay per view, guys. So unbelievable so far, Daryl McCoy, what we've seen. Action nonstop. And you talk about Big Rig, Jake. He laid waves to two party man, right? Marty Clay pulled the big upset over Kyle Maggard. Nobody's seen that coming. Well, wow, listen, you talk about Marty Clay, the hometown hero. He advances in the King of Mountains tournament, JR. He's going to move on, defeating the veteran Kyle Maggard. Unbelievable, the action, everything tonight. It's just like a ripple in the water. It has an effect all the way down the card. And, and you guys know the action is here tonight. And we're just getting started because we've got Sean Evans and, oh, yeah, big cousin Frank yes. up next here in Breathitt County, Kentucky. I cannot believe the crowd that has showed up. Unbelievable. Evidence. Let's go down to the ring Let's for our next bout. Listen, if, you've not, if you're not in here right now, you can tell you're in Jackson because of the smell. Well, we've got the Zodiac. The Zodiac. You know, that shows this guy cares for nothing. Absolutely.
Dominic coming through from the hollows of Eastern Kentucky. Way in at one and a half hogs. Cousin Big Frank. Big Frank. Big Frank. Big Frank, Big Frank McCoy. Cousin Big Frank here. Yeah. Again, like I said, we'll go. He's countryer than corn fried potatoes, guys. This this guy right here, born and raised in a city somewhere like Breathitt County. The hills, <laughs> the hollers of Eastern Kentucky. He's even got his he's got his pet pig, Jr. Oh, some moonshine with that. him. Yes, and he travels with him. You know, everywhere he goes. One of the true fan favorites. Ooh. They love him, they love him, they love him, they love him. And he's saying, look, look, look what I can do. And, and I, th I think Maybe, he's, well, I think he's been hitting the bottle a little I, too hard I, here. I was about to say, I think Cousin Frank may have had a little bit of that moonshine before before he went through those curtains. Just a little bit of that jug, baby. Oh, <laughs> he's feeling good tonight. Cousin Big Frank, a fan favorite here. Now, you, you can tell here. These fans are definitely pulling for Cousin Big Frank here. Absolutely. The fans. Oh, yeah. Solidly behind the big fella. <laughs> you know. Big Frank, he takes a lot of things lightly. Inside or out of the ring, he doesn't care. Yeah, Sean Evans. Sitting here right now. He's uh, he's waiting a lot in to Cousin Big Frank right now, and Cousin Big Frank still trying to get going well, Darryl, we had after Sean, a rough night. Yeah, we <laughs> had Sean Evans on the pre-show, and uh, he was – he was ready to go, to say the least. And we're going to find out right here against a formidable opponent and big cousin. He's my cousin. He's your cousin, Daryl McCoy. He's hey. everybody's cousin. Yes, Listen, he is. that's the way things oh. are. Ooh. Boy, I tell you what, he landed that smack in there. He smacked at yeah. the back of Allen's okay. mouth. Well, a good way to put that. And Ooh. Nice smack to the backside. Comes with repercussions, huh? Yes, sir. yes, absolutely. Because of Frank using the high oh. end slack quite yeah, effectively. Boy, they love him. I tell you, look at this guy. Man. There he comes. Oh. In. Watch out. Nobody home. A little slow. Oh. Sean Evans hammers him into the turnbuckle. He does not. People don't realize the strength in Cousin Big Frank. They look at him, and he is deceivingly strong. Uh, dodges. Sean Evans. In the corner. Double slap to the chest. Sean Evans. Reeling. And there we go. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Look at this. It's a rock shaker. Oh, my goodness. Nobody wants to be on the losing end of that move. Sean, no. Sean Evans takes the powder, JR. He oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I feel for him. I really do. But watch out. Big Frank, he's going to try to mobilize him on the outside now. Takes his man head first right on the corner of that ring apron there. Man, that's got to be some pain. That's got to hurt. You'd know that. And here he comes. Going to follow his opponent down now. It's going to be Cousin Frank on the outside of the ring. And he is taking the brunt. But here comes Cousin Frank back, and he Ooh. fires back. Coach, they are outside the ring and everywhere, and the referee's towing yeah, the count. Yeah, uh, referee's counting them. Kick to the midsection. We've got a, I believe we heard a bell. Did we hear it? Yeah. yeah. A double count out. I There's think it is a brawl. double count out. It's a Donnybrook out here getting, well, listen. Well, mm. we've got them. We've got a situation the, here. The referees want a double count out. Therefore, there is no winner in this match. They're big fighting Frank. back well, to the locker room. My goodness, Big Frank followed his opponent right to the dressing room. Sean, oh. e Sean Evans, Coach. Big Cousin Frank. To, uh, finished with a double count out here. Has to be the craziest thing, I tell you. What well, started out to be a uh, 
Listen, we ought to knew when yeah. we seen Big Cousin Frank walk through the doors that this match wasn't going to end the way that we thought it would. Yeah, yeah. We're going to, Thomas Rainey, the maestro, we're going to head right to a, a, a backstage interview uh, that Thomas has for us. Okay. Jackson, Kentucky, I'm about to go out for my match with Misery. Now, I know I'm the underdog going to this. Misery, seven feet tall. You see, I've been the underdog my whole life through college. Wrestling, amateurly, state champion in high school. Misery, when I come out tonight, I'm going to prove you wrong. Misery, a man of few words. Yeah, he's uh, very mystical. I'll put it that way, to say the least, about this guy. I remember my first look at him. He, uh, he intimidated me, and I was at ringside just doing the commentary. Chase Emery, misery. I'll tell you something. This is a gathering place of professional wrestling at its greatest. Uh, absolutely, JR. They are packed to the rafters here. All on Jackson, the Kentucky. Roof. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, uh, as you're sitting here, listen, right now, misery. Uh, he is mis he's miserable everywhere he goes right now. I would not want to be Chase right now. Yeah, I agree with you. And I see over there in the corner, listen, I, a guy that's uh, caught my attention for a while, I'd like to get my hands on him, C.J. Howard over there. Looks like George Danimal still. Indeed he is. <laughs> that's, that's a good comparison yeah. there, I have to say. <laughs> I really have to say that's a great comparison. <laughs> You know, JR, as, uh, oh. as you're sitting here, guys, AMW here in Jackson, Kentucky. No better place to be right now, guys. And if you're not here, make sure you spread the word. Order the pay-per-view on dndsports.com, AMW Wrestling. JR, Coach K, Daryl McCoy, the Maestro Thomas Rainey, all the crews here. Misery, a man of few words. We're waiting for the entrance of these two competitors. And what a lineup. The matchmakers have went far and beyond any expectation given. Let me just say, for the, uh, for the talent roster to be like it is and the wrestlers be here in one building tonight with the king of the mountains going on. This is just awesome. It, and it's a double main event tonight. you got it the is. king of the mountains championship, and you've got the AMW heavyweight title on the line. That's exactly Stan Sierra. The man is in the house tonight. Anytime he's here, there's going to be havoc, guaranteed. And Chris Michaels, unbelievable the experience he brings to AMW. I mean, you, you talk all the big promotions he's been around. I mean, the entire East Coast. Yes. He, he is a grizzled veteran, guys. Oh, my. Oh, my. We're, uh -huh. we're about to kick things off here. Uh -oh, do I hear the music? In the beautiful Breathitt County, Kentucky. Jackson, Kentucky, guys. Absolutely. Now this. Coming down the aisle. Misery. Water Beach, Delaware. Weighed in 300 pounds. Misery. I man, a few words, but you better believe, you better believe, he he doesn't need a lot of talk. He wants to walk, brother. This guy, he is diabolical all the way to the end. This guy scares me just being in his presence. I'm trying to intimidate some of the children over there, I think. Yeah. Well, this guy, he's... Well, that tells you the type of guy he is. Yeah. He stops at nothing. No. Look at this, stepping over the ropes. Dirty, Man. low down, no good. We'll do anything. Now he's trying to intimidate the official here. Well. Makes me sick. We'll just see how much he intimidates his opponent tonight. Uh, 
Misery right in the middle of the ring, marking his turf. Get ready. Seems like I've heard that entrance music somewhere before. Watch out! Unbelievable! From Bowl Springs, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Chase Emery! Chase Emery! Wow! Coming out to American Made, red, white, and blue tights, JR. This, let me say this. This guy is an absolute athlete, a wrestler. Let me say, this guy's well-traveled. He's coming in here on North Carolina to AMW to make a name for himself. Absolutely. And not and listen. Look what a physique. You, you, when you come into right AMW, guess what? You're going to make a name for yourself if you can. <laughs> Be thrown something of that nature, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Chop down misery. He's an official American badass. Listen, hide your wife's here in Jackson, Kentucky. Yes, Chase sir. Emery's in town. There you go. And the parent, uh, Damien Caudle, uh, your son is in the back, back here by the uh, on the stage by the policeman. Thank you. And here we go. And let me say, Chase Emery, man, he is a clean cut. North Carolina guy that just brings it to Kentucky and they accept him as well. Near the USA <laughs> chance here, JR. Yes, he is just, he's fabulous, I'll say. He's Sol fan support solidly behind fabulous. Chase Emery. Misery, not budging a whole lot, JR. He said, come okay. get me. Chase Emery, well, mm. that canvas does not give. A little test of strength there in the hard way, I guess, for Chase Emery. But goes in for the leg. He's going to try to take the big man off his feet, but no, sir. Okay. I like to duck in, go behind. Let's we'll see what happens here. You know, Coach, uh, these guys are – there's a little high advantage there, of course, from Misery. But Absolutely. Ooh. Leverage. You're going to have to stay low. Drop kick. Uh, yes, Drop sir. kick. And you're, if you're Chase Emery, you, you, Emery, you got to stay low. You got to attack the legs. Got to get the big fella off his feet. That's exactly right. He caught Chase Emery there after that hip toss and looked like he might have uh, caught him in the back with that knee. One across that rope. Emery in trouble now. In trouble early, actually. Emery on the attack here. Well, hmm. Might have got him with an elbow in the body. That's exactly. Mm. I say, so many different ways this misery can hurt you, let me say. He don't have to have you on the mat either. No. Not at all. The fans trying to get behind Chase Emery with the USA chant. Oh, oh my big goodness. smack. You could hear that. Ring out across the auditorium, coach. Absolutely. Big time chop. Misery going for the body slam. Full scoop and slam for the cover. That's not going to do it, I'm afraid. No. Two count. You're not going to beat Chase Emery with a simple body slam. No, sir. The referee, however, on top of the action. The Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, King of the Mountains, Breathitt County, Kentucky, DMD Sports. Let me say, we are in the presence of some fine athletes tonight, guys. No doubt about it. Some of the very best this profession has to offer is right here in Jackson, Kentucky. Oh, that's not legal. Look at this to the side of the head. Oh, my goodness. Driving that foot down into the eye socket. He knows what he's doing in there. Oh, your misery is no good, guys. He will cheat. He Bye will do whatever he has to do to get the win. That's exactly right. Ooh, look at that arm. Yeah. He knows how to use those ropes to his advantage. And this right here is one good prime example. Chase Emery now. He is hurt. That forearm muscle. Man, he is hurt. He is in some pain. Oh. <laughs> and, of course, Mass Misery being the opportunist that he is, is seeking to take advantage of this situation. Goes in with that foot again. Look at this. Right to the throat. Right now. 
Chase Henry needs the fans to get behind him right now. He needs and, something to pull him out of this. And Misery is all in control here. Emory he Some fights back to his feet. Here Ooh. he comes. There you go. Hammer in the midsection. Chase Emory. Oh. Misery. Misery stays on the attack. Trying to further take the steam out of Emory. Uh, he's got him in a bad way. The referee asked him, does he submit? He says no. Chase Emory trying to get the fans involved. There we go with the chant. With Here the chant. Go. Yes, with the chant. He fights to his Henry. knees. He's coming up. Here he goes. Ooh, elbow to the midsection. Yes. Breaks loose. But he, oh. Oh, a sidewalk slam. Two and three quarters on that one. Well, I'll tell you, we've had some close counts tonight, haven't we? Absolutely. That just shows you the viciousness of these competitors tonight. Oh, 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 look oh, oh my. he's stuck on the top rope. Chase Emery right to the family jewels. Oh, he goes for a ride, coach. He goes oh. for a ride. Dipper, I would not want to be in his pants right now. Chase over Emery giving him a taste of his own medicine, over JR. Rope. Clothesline stretched over that rope and taking the ride. Two no over. way. Oh, oh, big misses the big boot. Oh, shoulder. The big fella goes down. To the upper body, big shoulder. Chase From. Emery. Cli yeah, climbing to the top. Uh -uh. He's a high flyer here. Let's see. Can he connect, Daryl McCoy? Misery. But he catches him. Misery catches his man in midair. No. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. It's over. Not he, getting up. He got him. Misery. Unbelievable. I cannot believe. Put him through the ring. The transition. They are. My goodness. Unbelievable. Misery. All business, no play. And the referee's having to call him off after Absolutely. a victory. Absolutely. Ladies. After a, a clean cut victory, you have to say, with a finishing maneuver at least. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, what? I'm telling you, we are on fire here with AMW. We're, Thomas Rainey, we're going to go to a break and we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brute from Bullhead Ranch here to talk to you about my first round matchup with Adrian Alexander. And I'm, uh, I got a lot going on. Right now and I'm ready to step in the ring with Adrian. I know what he's got. He knows what I've got. It should be a nice, fun wrestling match. Adrian, I'll see you out there, buddy. Good luck. You know what? We're the best man win. You're watching AMW Wrestling here in Jackson, Kentucky. Daryl McCoy, Coach K, JR to my right. Guys, we got Adrian Alexander and AJ Kazana coming up next. How much rougher can it get, guys? We have seen it in and out of the ring tonight. You're talking about toughness. You're talking about grit. You're getting ready to watch it right here. AMW, King of the Mountains. Now. AJ Kazan is one I've been waiting for since the second I stepped in here. Big fan of this guy, man. He's been around. This guy. From Bullhead Ridge, Texas. Weighed in 299 pounds. AJ Kazan. He's got that cattle prod, JR. This man has some history, let me say. The experience sheet on this guy, oh, folders and folders, from the proud and ever-going uh, promotional and uh, wrestling Kazana family. Yes, a lot of history, a lot of lineage. And he right now, he's got, he's got several fans here, JR. Yes, he has. I've been, I have been so impressed uh, with his uh, wrestling capabilities. He's 
uh, proved himself time and time uh, again to be a superior athlete in there, knowing wrestling inside and out. I just have to, I really have to say that about this man. I'm absolutely I'm proud he's here tonight. I really am. And Jake is in. Eh? Well, he brings that cattle prong to the ring with him. Yeah. I hope he don't have to use it. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Now the fans waiting for Adrian Alexander here. JR, Adrian Alexander, flashy to the core. You better believe he is, and always excitement follows this man, I'm telling you. He is just, I'm going to say this, you get a lot of bang for the buck, let me say. He's as exciting as. Ladies and gentlemen, from Lexington, Kentucky. Weighing in at 170 pounds, Adrian Alexander. Alexander coming in with a ton of energy, a ton of enthusiasm. There he is. Man, I tell you. The fans on guy. their feet. You see what I say, a lot of bang for the buck. This guy is full of energy. Absolutely. You're talking about street versus speed here. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know. That's he's from Lexington, Kentucky. You know he's a Louisville Cardinal fan. We <laughs> <laughs> got hey, AJ on the outside. What's ah? He's acting peculiar, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he <laughs> Just a little perturbed there, just yeah. a little. AJ talking with some of the fans. Alexander, very well traveled as well. Uh, we've had several. This is another. Several looks at him, but he's, he's a great athlete. Weight disadvantage here for Adrian. It is. We're talking about speed. You're talking about size. Again, it's about a chess game. It always is in the, oh, in, yes. in the ring, uh, Jr. Yes. Perhaps he can find an Achilles heel, take advantage, and take this guy home. I, this is, you know, it may look like a mixed match, but, again, human chess game at its finest. I'm going to say that because the abilities of these two. Mentally and physically as well. You can tell well. right here, Jr. AJ That's has right. thin skin. He's trying to get the officials to throw the fans out of here. I don't know. His, seems like he's had maybe just had a bad day, but his attitude don't seem exactly. Doesn't seem exactly it, it, normal, AJ. Maybe tired from travel. These guys do a lot of travel, let me tell you. And here he is, offering the handshake. That's the uh, AJ that I know. And uh, let's see what happens here. Says, hey, let's. Adrian Alexander, he is. Fans really heckling AJ right now. Well, what is going on with this? AJ trying to get an opening match handshake. All right, here we go. Got one. I mean, yeah, that's great, man. I mean, yeah. Sportsmanship okay. always good. Yeah, that's exactly right, and you, it's something you don't like see a lot of times, <laughs> unfortunately, but not very often. But I like to see it. Here we go. Tie up to the ring. Wow, got him in a headlock. Working that arm, beautiful, beautiful. Go yeah. behind. It was Jr. An arm and the chicken wing. Now look, watch out. Reversal here. Again. Beautiful reversal. And he's and listen, you're gonna have to use that. Adrian's gonna have to use that speed to his advantage. How'd you like that go under? Beautifully executed. Goes oh. for the leg and face down to the mat. And that's what we call professional wrestling at its finest. Absolutely. That is professional wrestling at its finest. I love the catch as catch can. Yeah, great old Roman. I love to see these guys go out there and compete hey. without the animosity that sometimes happens. Right, unbelievable counters happening right now early on. Beautiful tie up. Strategist strategy, JR. That's True. what it's about, right? True. Working that arm. 
Yeah, working doing the a, arm. Absolutely doing a tremendous job working the arm. Adrian Alexander, and if you notice, he's keeping that distance there too. And uh, that's a great point, Jr. He's wanting to stay away as much as possible. Hey, look out! Mm. We are Another. seeing wrestling at its finest. Look right here, uh -oh. and I think he's going to overpower him with the strength. But wait nice just a counter. minute! Hold on! It's going to be Adrian making. Ooh! I don't know if he pulled him up or if he was able to grab him his way back up. Wow. The leg sweep. Adrian Alexander. Well, AJ said, hey, give this guy a hand. He's yeah. hanging with me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, AJ. Wonderful sportsmanship. Great sportsmanship. AJ telling the fans that was a great counter. Absolutely. Here we are in Breathitt County, Kentucky, in a matchup like this. The ball is all the badly and fighting, and here we are watching some great professional wrestling maneuvers. Absolutely. The very best in the Commonwealth. Can't get him up. Counters. AJ counters here. You can tell right now. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that down. Counter after counter after counter, Daryl McCoy. Beautiful. Tremendous wrestling match so far. Right now, AJ Stanza, you can tell he struggles with confidence issues. He's begging for the fan support right now, but they are not giving it to him. They are, as you mentioned, travel sometimes can take its toll. Absolutely. And, and the benefit of the doubt for a little uh, personality objective sometimes, but nevertheless, hmm. oh, well, he caught him in that corner. He's going to let him out. AJ Kazana now. He speared him it in that corner. Hard. Oh, beautiful. Leg sweep. Beautiful. Nice. Into the schoolyard choke here. Adrian Alexander, he is really, really hot tonight, guys. He is out there doing it what he does best. Look uh -oh. right here. Can't yeah, hold him. Uh, wait, wait, the kids. What a matchup. What a matchup. Call your relatives. Tell them right now you're watching an absolute clinic. Here in Jackson, Kentucky. D&D Sports, I love you guys. Let me just say I'm very proud to be a part of this thing. Yes, sir. Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, king of the mountains. It is a home run partnership, Daryl McCoy. Yes, it is. JR, we're very blessed to have you here. As Adrian slings him off the ropes. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. What a shoulder smash. Wow. Adrian took every bit of that and then some. Man. Scoop slam. Things are looking grim, Coach. Absolutely. Fans. Ooh, big oh. chop. Oh, my goodness. They heard that down at Service Mart. They did. They seem to be behind Adrian thus far, Jr. Well, Adrian trying to battle back. But I tell you, he has he's, he is winded. He has the wind knocked right out of him. Rightfully so, though. A.J. What's some he, heavy fists on A.J. What's A.J.? He's, that's not like him to... Ooh. Be verbally abusive with the crowd, but not at all, Jr. Okay. As we said, not in the best of moves oh, today. That was a double knee right Man. to the chin. Absolutely. Stuns AJ. No, you're no, you're not taking him over the top. You're not going to go over the top of that much weight against you. Look right here. Reversal. Oh, <laughs> close line. Man, how much more? Wow. Almost took his head off, Daryl. Nice clothesline there. Well, I think AJ has shown his strength. That looked like a closed fist from here. It, it was a closed fist, indeed. Going for the cover. He didn't need to do that, I'll say. Hmm. It's a hard two count there. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any point of AJ uh, coming in with some of these shortcuts. Yes. I don't know what that's about. I don't care. I, I don't mind giving someone benefit of the doubt a time or two. But uh, Adrian Xander, he, uh, he is just 
He's out on his feet. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, the referee asked him. He says, hey, you want to continue? And Fans still giving A.J. a hard time. They yeah. are indeed, Darrell. And, and that may come back to bite him because Adrian could use that for recovery time here, guys. That's exactly right. Oh, my. Now, that's, see, that, that's dirty. Yeah, that's not, that's not the A.J. that I supported not too long ago in some matches. Um, what's this about? I just, that attitude, oh. I'm not sure what he's up to here. Oh, oh. oh. nobody home. Last second. JR moves out of the way. Grand opportunity. Adrian Alexander, he's pumping up. He's up on his feet. There's a boot to the side of the head. Caught the side of it. Yeah, didn't did. get him square. He's, he's trying to chop the tree down. Can he get him down off his feet? One clothesline. Two clotheslines. Oh, my. The, the redwood ain't falling. It rocked him. We're going to get a third one. But I can go under and go under again. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. He caught him in midair. This could be dangerous. Oh, beautiful oh. slip over. Look at this. Oh. oh. The atomic bomb wasn't there. We are in an explosive match. I cannot believe the comeback here. I cannot believe this coach. Little Dipper. What's your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this match, my friend? Listen, Adrian right now, the agility, the quickness right now, he's starting to overcome that heavy downfall earlier when AJ was just giving him the business. But right now, seems like he has all the momentum headed his way, clothesline off the top rope. Momentum has shifted. Does it get any better, Coach? Absolutely not. This is crazy here at Breathitt County, Kentucky. Unbelievable match here. You're witnessing. Beautiful. Can he hold him? Oh, show it. Two. Oh. It's too strong. AJ kicks Listen, out. You got to give it to AJ, man. Right now, he's taking a rough way to go. This would be a main event in any arena anywhere in the United States. Absolutely. Two of the very best going at it. Wait a minute. Oh. He got Wait a they're, minute. Yeah, they're checking What's going on here? What is going Did on here? you see what I saw? That's an illegal object. Oh, he, oh he's got the cattle pulling. No, I can't. What's going on, JR? No. I cannot believe this. Turn your head, official. What is AJ doing? Oh, the referee being the oh, no. Oh. AJ Kazana. I cannot believe this. What coach. I'm seeing. He just blasted him with that cattle prod. That Travesty. Dirty using an illegal object. A AJ. Travesty. AJ. Nothing but a travesty. Look Why at this. Why, AJ? Wow. Why, AJ? Let's take a look Why? at this one more time. This is the let's, craziest thing. Let's take a look at this replay. Oh, my goodness. No. AJ Kazana. I cannot. You saw him hiding. The, you saw him, Darrell McCoy. He was hiding the, the, the cattle car. You saw it in his hands on the. Absolutely. That, on the Tim Short. I don't know what I don't know what's got into AJ right now, Jr. But this is the AJ Tim Short replay. Did we get that, guys? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is not the AJ we this know. This is crazy. We oh. saw it right on instant replay. It was it's right there. Crazy. Absolutely. Well, yeah. a shocker here in Jackson, Kentucky tonight. And I am having to eat some of the best things that I had to say about this individual coming in here. They need to get him out of my face right now. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. I'm I in shock, believe. JR. I cannot believe. Why? The question is why? A man of this statue, of, of this, I don't know. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out what was a what was AJ thinking? Well, unbelievable. You know, a time or two in there, I kind of questioned his ethics. And then the way this thing absolutely turned out to be. But what a matchup. Adrian Alexander, we will never, ever sell Adrian Alexander right. short. Absolutely we're, we're gonna send not. It. 
we're going to send it down here to Terry England. Okay. Terry England for an interview. All righty. have got here JR wow. the mega destroyer there he is you talking about a great oh, man of mystery Terry I'm glad you're out here with me right now because I have some news to break right here live on pay-per-view breaking news sad disappointing breaking news I know all of you hillbillies came out here with the last of your social security checks to see me defend this title right here against RT3. Well, RT3 is not here. I was just informed moments ago that he's got some kind of car trouble, maybe missing a wheel or tire. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. What's going on here? But I know this. Are those lug nuts in his hand? Terry, it did looks you know exactly like that looks held to me. The AMW Southeastern Heavyweight Championship for two years plus 788 days. R23, RT3, he does not have a disabled vehicle. He's scared. He's yellow, just like everybody else. It's a testament to how dominant I am and how fearsome I am. My opponents don't even show up anymore. So what? Shut up. What we're going to do right now, Mr. Referee, I want you to toll a count of 10. Yeah. And then raise my hand so I can get out of this hillbilly hell. JR, he says... He's going to get a count of 10. No opponent for the South Eastern Championship. He's a two-plus year reign. This is, uh, no, this is not ethically right. And him shaking lug nuts in his hands. Here goes the count. Yeah, there's something up with this, I'll tell you. Count of 10, there'll be, he'll be awarded the victory well, if no one shows. Referee is now at four. He's towing the count, so. Count of five. Seven. Wait a minute. What's the music coming on for? I believe that's Bobby Love. Do what? It sounds it like his music. It couldn't be, brother. He's been retired for three years. Wait a minute. What is Wait going on here, guys? I'm telling you guys. JR. Evidently. Well, I've certainly I, I, been informed. I mean. uh, th th listen, there's been no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. He's goodness. back. He is back. Bobby the Love himself. It is Bobby Love. Three plus years. Bobby Love has returned Bobby. to AMW. Oh, my goodness. Bobby Love is in the building, G. Sorry to interrupt, Bobby. Let me get a word with you. This is a major announcement here, a big happening. You're a former Southeastern champion. This is a big deal. You see, Terry England, I'm going to make this short and sweet. What's going on, Jackson? The last time I was in an, an AMW ring, I held that title, and I lost that title. And right here is a piece of paper with a stipulation with no end that I get my rematch. And I'm exercising that clause tonight 
I'm getting my rematch tonight. Bobby Love going to challenge for the very yeah, yeah. title he held. This is official, man. This is a big deal. This is Don't big deal. Don't you do me a favor. Wow. It don't I'm get any take bigger. This robe off. What next? I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but you got to think. Mega Destroyer has held that belt several times. You're right. I'm not saying fairly, but he has held it. Love hurts, Daddy. Bobby Love, a 20 plus year wrestling veteran. We thought he had hung him up. We thought he was gone. And he is back. Look at the physique. This wow. guy is in superior shape. Those guns. And I'll say that this is going to be a well of a contest. Bobby Love looks like he has never left the wrestling ring. Fans, I am flabbergasted. I just don't know what to say after thinking that I've seen it all. Are you kidding football. me? I've got Aaron chill bumps. Bobby Love. First of all, the challenger from Rome and South Carolina weighing 285 pounds. Bobby Love! Love hurts. And the champion from Park Unknown, weighing in 265 pounds. He is the current AMW Southeastern champion, Mega Destroyer! Can Bobby Love, after a three year sabbatical, return? The last match he had, JR, he lost that Southeastern Championship almost three years ago. Tonight, my friend, this man is title hungry, G. Does he still have the edge? That's the question. He's been gone for a while. Is there that ring rust? Now, as you said, is there that intensity? Does he still have that uh, aggressiveness? We're about to find out here. Southeastern Championship on the line. Bobby Love making a surprise return. He's certainly come in with the eye of the tiger, I'll say that. Old cliche, but true. Absolutely. I hope the referee painted down Mega Destroyer pretty good. We all know that mask has been loaded on several different occasions. Mega Destroyer talking some trash to Bobby Love before they tied up here. Mega Destroyer wanted none of Bobby Love. Bobby being the ultimate gentleman took that clean break. The one thing I can tell you, and I had no clue, but Bobby Love has been hanging and banging in that gym for the last year. You had to know something was up with how he was training in Pikeville, Kentucky. And out of all nights, it's right with the King of the Mountains tournament. Yes. He's an impressive human specimen. Daryl McCoy, you know a little bit about Bobby Love as well. And he is absolutely just looking like he hasn't left the wrestling ring. No, he's looking like he's in his prime right now. I would not want to be Mega Destroyer. Well, Bobby Love, he's certainly on his game. I'll give him that. And the Mega Destroyer is sitting on his hind end right into the ropes right now. You know, fans, this is a match we didn't expect as well. Didn't expect this at all. And I, Mega Destroyer, you know, you know how that is. You expect one opponent, and now you're getting the former Southeastern champion, Bobby Love, returning. Oh, this yeah. is what I love about AMW. You never know what to expect. You never know. But it's never a letdown, I'll say that. These guys, let me tell you, these two right here are definitely no love lost. No, they go back a long way. An absolute packed house here in Jackson, Kentucky to witness the return of Bobby Love facing off against the Mega Destroyer. Oh, he reverses it. Folks, AMW, d, &D Sports, I'll tell you something, the combination as such, hey, what more could you ask for? You couldn't ask for anything more, right? Destined for greatness. Absolutely. Another clean break by Bobby Love. Referee doing a super job, staying on top of action. Well, I tell you, they're, they're earning their books tonight, no doubt. You know this Mega Destroyer is trying to take time off that clock. Mega Destroyer, boy, he's really grinding on that earlobe, JR. Wearing those gloves. The man, he uh, you can't tell what expression's on his face. You can't tell what he's oh. How about the love strut? Mm. Bobby Love showing a little bit of swag, Daryl McCoy. 
bag full of swag with Bobby Love. Back in his element. Listen, that ain't much of a man to me if you have to hide behind a mask. You got that right. Really wrenching down. Mm. Making the stores feeling that right now. Absolutely. Mm. Big shoulder block. Well, I heard that one from here. Mega Destroyer destroyed a man's car just to get to this point. Bobby Love's about to give him a lick in here. Seizing the opportunity. Bobby Love making the most of it. Nothing surprises me with Mega Destroyer. Uh, destroying someone's car. Do whatever he has to do to have things work out toward his advantage. Absolutely. We have saw this time after time. Yes, He'll we do have. anything he can to win the match. Yes, we have. The test of strength, Mega Destroyer. Bobby Love asking the fans, should I do it? Got a feeling Mega Destroyer knows this is a lose. Oh, he knew it Kick was coming. Kick to the midsection. Because he wasn't about to tie up with Bobby Love in a test of strength. Okay, look Big at this. Big scoop slam. Well, oh, clothesline. Very nice clothesline. Very line. nice. He makes that exit in a hurry, doesn't he? I mean, that was picture perfect clothesline from Love. Bobby Love getting the fans behind him here. Mega Destroyer taking his time, getting back in the ring, being very methodical. He's a champion for a reason, and there's a reason he's held that title for so long. He's very smart inside that square of circle, that's for sure. Absolutely. Oh. Big chop to the. Might have been to the kidneys there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Bobby Love with that expression of pain on his face. And that's the Mega Destroyer going to town. Wearing those uh, mysterious gloves, might I say. His first match back. He is not taking it easy on Bobby Love. Never. Bobby Love hung up in those ropes. Referee trying to break Mega Destroyer here. This match just adds to the excitement of tonight. The excitement. Everything that's coming down. The prestige of being a part of AMWJR. Oh, my goodness. If you're here, if you're, then here. you're one of the very best. You are. That's you're one true. of the very best. That's exactly very well put. Yes. And each man knows this could be a title shot down the line for them for the heavyweight championship. Absolutely. A lot on the line. That's a lot of drive within itself. Nightmare takeover. Oh, crawl on the eyes, of Fisher, course. Fisher needs to yeah. break that hold. Right now, I just think that Bobby Love's been out of it too long, guys. I, I hate to say it, but Mega Destroyer is working. Uh, uh, well, the Darryl, veteran. again, there's a reason he's been a champion for so long, Daryl. Yep. I mean, he knows the ins and outs. He knows every by hook or by crook, he's going to get it done. Mostly by crook. <laughs> right. Yep. Right. Well, you called it, called it like you see it. Official asking Bobby Love, does he want to give it up? I don't see Bobby Love giving up. Oh, working that lower back. That's a point of the elbow, might I add. Yes. Megan Destroyer doing a tremendous job working that lower back area. And this also really wrenches the lower back, guys. I mean, this just putting a lot of pressure. Yes, he is. Mega Destroyer knows he has to work that back to get Bobby Love weaker. Yes. But that's going to be a big job with that back. Bobby Love says, no, sir. Not giving up. Not today. Mega Destroyer, man, applying that pressure. Oh, is he out? Holding that hand for a He may be two. out. He's in a world of pain. I don't no! Know. No, sir. 
Bobby Love, a little support from uh -oh. the crowd. He's finding that little something extra. Yes, digging down deep. Digging down deep. Yes, here we go. Get that adrenaline. Catch that second win, my friend. And Oh, he stunned him with that one. I tell you, Bobby Love's in a world of world of hurt, but Mega Destroyer not going to cover. Maybe settled him short. Yeah, you're not going to cover Bobby like that. You're going to have to hook the leg. You're going to have to use your weight. Not just going to uh, pin he, Bobby. He that can't way. do that. Well, the official, he, he's got to let it be a little bit more lax here, Jr. Yes. Uh, of course, it is for the uh, Southeastern Heavyweight Title. Two and a half count. Mm, he's staying on that lower yeah. back. Boy, you're working on that kidney area. Yeah. I tell you, that could really take a lot out of you. Mega Destroyer doing a tremendous job. Just staying focused and dialed in. Working the back. Bobby Love in the ropes. Official needs to the get him out. Like, yeah, that's... Totally uncalled for, but he's trying to get every dig that he can in to disable his opponent even more so. Love trying to make a comeback here. But boy, the tide certainly turned in a hurry there. But Reversal. Slams oh. him in the turnbuckle. He gets that oh. knee up okay. just in time. Mega Destroyer really making a showing for himself. Every time Bobby Love starts to turn the tide, Mega Destroyer comes up with something to change the wave. Mega Destroyer climbing the ropes. This is something new. Yes, it is. Takes it right on the chin. Bobby Love does. Well, I'll tell you, that had to have some force behind it. Being coming off those ropes like that. He's trying to hold his man. Looked like by the head down yeah. to the mat there. He's desperate for that uh, pin, that win. Bobby Love fighting back. Comes Bobby Love making that comeback, but short lived. Nope, into the corner. Oh, oh, he caught him that time. Nice. That took some steam out of him. Absolutely. Oh, no. Oh, oh, watch out. Referee goes down. Referee called. Oh, Mega Destroyer. Now, where is he going now? Close line. Look out. Look out. Oh. Just what I was He's afraid. going under the apron. What's he put out? He's got a With chair. chair. Oh, my goodness. Turn, Very Bobby. Difficult. Turn. Watch out. He's going to catch Bobby with it. Oh. 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 oh my. Bobby Love gets turn. there. My Can he do it? Can he hang on? Two. Southeastern Heavyweight Champion tonight. Bobby Love, three years away from the ring. Bobby Love has captured the Southeastern Championship. Wow. What an upset. What a match. What a match. Well, I can't say upset, but I can say this. Mega Destroyer helped beat itself in this one. Absolutely. Is it perception? Is it reality for Bobby Love? It is reality it is tonight. Reality. And the new AMW Southeastern Champion. Unbelievable, guys. And wow. that title's going to look good around Bobby Love. Bobby Love, three years away. He is your Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, defeating the Mega Destroyer. My, oh my, what a night so far. What a Thomas great night. Brady, Come out of gonna, retirement. We are going to take a break. We'll be right back. Bobby Love, oh my. Oh my. We're back here, D&D Sports Network, AMW, pay-per-view here in Jackson, Kentucky. I'm the coach, Kevin Keithley. Oh, yeah, we've got the AMW crew with us. We've got Daryl McCoy. We've got the maestro, Thomas Rainey. They're hanging from the rafters here this, uh, tonight. Been a great night for wrestling in Jackson, Kentucky. Unbelievable. And guess what? It's just getting better. We've got the AMW Heavyweight Championship coming at you. Here in just a couple of minutes. JR. I have never witnessed such a program, such a card, fans. 
proud to be a part of this thing. The, I'll tell you, it has been one wild and woolly night. Absolutely, Stan Sierra, AMW heavyweight champion for two plus years. Here we go. This is what the fans have waited for. The champ is in the house. He always gets such a warm reception. <laughs> well, like him or not like him, he is the champion, guys. Can anybody defeat Stan Sierra? The man has went two plus years as AMW champion. Chris Michaels returns the challenge. If anybody has a shot at doing it, it would be Chris Michaels. Yes. He's been around the block and back again, Chris yes. Michaels has. He has held various titles from various promotions. This is crazy uh, how the matchmakers got together, did this. I, I, I don't understand, just proud to be part of it. AMW uh, Championship Committee has went out of the unbelievable job getting this championship match signed for tonight. Oh, here we go. As the champ speaks. Now I know everybody's been having a good time, but I'm going to have to insist at this moment that you shut your mouth. You know, one thing I figured out real quick here at Breath and Kelly is there is a lot of big mouth women in here. Oh, my. That's, that's not going to. Mm. <laughs> so, guys, man to man, look at your wife and tell her to shut up. I'm talking. Not win over many fans, Jr. <laughs> That's now, kids, not gonna fly. I know you probably never heard this before in your life, especially in this day and time. But sit down and shut up. He's always got something for everyone, kids, grown-ups. It doesn't matter. Absolutely. He's like how Mark. He has one for all occasions. Yes. Because I can tell you right now, this is the most bunch of Jackson, Kentucky jackasses that I've ever seen in one building oh at one my. time. Oh, my. Yeah. Not a fan of Jackson, Kentucky. Mm. And since everybody here likes to be real nowadays, they want to be real about everything. Well, I done my research before I got here, and the girls' basketball team here sucks. Now he's getting very personal with the fans very of the basketball team. Yeah. Very personal. Yeah, he's going to need to score it out of here if he keeps it up. Guys. We, can, we up. can raise a million dollars here tonight, and it wouldn't be enough to help these girls. I promise you that. Oh. He may just start it right here in a few minutes. Well, he needs So, to. girls, let me help you out here and say that you heard it from old Stan Sierra. Focus more of your time on doing meaningful things like laundry. Oh, wow. Doing meaningful things like washing the dishes. And the number one most important thing is whatever old Stan Sierra says, hey, shut your mouth and go make me a sandwich. Go do it. Oh, my. And do it with your mouth shut! And if you don't like that, when I'm done here tonight, I'll climb over that rail, and one by one, I will slap every single person in this building! And don't think he won't uh, do it. I think he's got some takers down here in the front row. Uh, yeah, for sure. Stan Sierra. My, oh my. Didn't hold back in the least. Wow. I'll tell you something. This man is crazy. He's the, crazy to be saying those things here. The challenger. The veteran. They don't get any better. Been around the block and back again. 
Stan Sierra will have his work cut out for him tonight. Absolutely. This won't be a cakewalk Chris, like he usually gets. Chris Michaels will be maybe his toughest test to date. Chris Michaels in the building. WCW, WWE, TNA. NWA. NWA, the he, National Wrestling Alliance. You name it, he's been there. This guy well traveled. This guy a superstar within himself. And here he is tonight. Chris Michaels. Can he capture gold? The fans. Certainly, if they wasn't before, they are now behind Mr. Michaels. You no doubt this. about it. Oh, absolutely so. It looks like he's come out with fire in his belly tonight. You better bring your A game. You better, you better bring, bring absolutely game. everything you got against Stan Sierra. That man is as good as it gets in this business. Chris Michaels. All oh, the kids, the fans love this guy, let me tell you. The fans love it. Oh. Chris Michaels. Letting oh. him know he appreciates the support. What an event. What, what an, event. an event. This is one of your, this is your double main event right here, ladies and gentlemen. Packed House, Jackson, Kentucky. AMW, D&D Sports Network. Oh my goodness, you're about to watch it happening right here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and it's for the AMW Championship. First of all, the challenger coming to us tonight from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 225 pounds. He is the headliner, Chris Michael! And his opponent he is the current and defending AMW champion from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 273 pounds, Stan Sierra. Oh, there we go. This contest has a one fall with a 30 minute time limit. 30 minute time limit, Chris a Michaels. 30 minute time limit. Stan Sierra. A lot of things can happen in 30 minutes. Absolute, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. With it's the gold on the line. Guys, I'm a big fan of Stan. He speaks the truth about these women here in Jackson. Right. Uh, Daryl McCoy, you know, I was oh waiting. I was waiting for you to uh, He's chimed in have a comment or two. Yeah, well, he's, you can tell they're not doing what they need to do, which is laundry, because you can smell it here in the Colorado. Oh, good. Daryl McCoy. Hey, you know, Jr. I was waiting. I was uh, waiting for Daryl mm, McCoy to. Uh, he just couldn't help himself. We just had silent before the storm. Yeah. But now he's cut loose. So I was, you know, and I had high hopes here of getting through a broadcast without the sarcasm. But now he's uh, he's wrong. He's, we have great folks here in Breathitt County, Kentucky. Daryl McCoy. He's, Listen, you've never been a fan of Breathitt County, and listen, I, I I got my start here at Lee's College, and. Uh, some of the best people you'll ever meet. Yes. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. Stan Sierra making adjustments to his wrestling gear, if you would. Chris Michaels commuting to the fans here, just uh, wanting that uh, support from the fans, which he actually uh, had it before he even come out of here. Stan Sierra, he set the stage for himself right off the bat. Absolutely. Taking his time, he's the champ. Chris Michaels has to beat him. He does not have to beat Chris Michaels. He can get out of here, as we just said, by hook or by crook. Chris Michaels gonna have to kind of play a chess game here. Heavyweight title on the line. We've Here's had one title change tonight. Let's hope there's another. Absolutely, double main event coming at you here. Live on pay-per-view, Jackson, Kentucky. Stan Sierra, Chris Michaels. It don't get any better. AMW. The home of Mr. Austin Sperry. 
Yes, sir. Home of the yes. defending 14th region champions, yeah. Breathitt County Bobcats, Austin Sperry. Something to be very proud of. The men get it done here. It's the women. I got. Oh, look at this. Here. We're going to have a push off. We're going to have a push off on the champ back back to the corner. Jr. How good is Chris Michaels? Hey, let me say, let me say this. This guy, every every organization he has traveled through. He has been in Florida at the WB Training Center he's the last couple of weeks. Yes. Called up by Triple H himself to help with the training. Wow. He brings that experience that no other wrestler can bring to the ring. That's why everybody here is a fan of Chris Michaels. You know you put, you're in for a show. You get your money's worth when he's out there. But on the other hand, you got Stan who just gets the job done. Stan the man, AMW heavyweight champion, two plus years. Well, Stan's always considered that his title. And even in, in retrospect, no matter how he comes up with a victory, he claims it as a sweet, clear, innocent victory. Right. And the list of people that he's defeated goes on and on and on. He's not lost in two years. Heavyweight champion for two plus years, Daryl McCoy. Man, that's a lot of defense. And he is the self-proclaimed GOAT of AMW. Yes, he is. And can, can you dispute it? No, it's He's hard not. to dispute. Head first into that turnbuckle. Over the top rope. Over the top. That concrete is not forgiving, guys. It does not forgive. Absolutely. Exactly right. Yeah. Jeff finding himself trying to get up. Got a great shot on the other side. And he's asking for a timeout. And as you know, you get no timeouts in pro wrestling. That's exactly no timeouts, guys. You go in there, you wrestle time with it. The thing is, though, he has that time clock on his side right now. That's a great point. Again, he does not have to beat Chris Michaels. Chris Michaels has to beat him. Yes. He has to take it to him. That's right. This has a special 30-minute time on it, my understanding. So. Stan's going to be methodical. He's going to go at his pace and his pace only. As the old saying goes, it's his way or the highway. Right. Oh, my. Michaels. Oh! What Michael. a shot. Okay. He's not going to be tolerant. He's not going to be patient and wait on the champ. He's going to go out and help him back into the ring. And that's what we're seeing right now, G. I think the barricade broke. He stepped him hard against it. I know that. That was some force. It's going to be Michaels going to the top. He's going to the top. The champ turns around. Double leg handle. The champ is down. This could be the beginning of the end, too. Two and three quarter, but I think the champ... Stunned the champ, Jr. Yeah, I think he was stunned and realizes now he's got to do something else here. Yeah. So he takes a uh, timeout. Again, he just wants to change pace, wants to go at his time. He's leaving. And Stan, Stan says, wait a minute. Is he, he can't is do he this. Leaving or is he just get kind of recalibrating? Look, he's a little discombobulated he's right now. Yes. He's trying to figure out his next move, and he don't know what his next move is going to be at this point. Off. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't yeah. leaving. Very strategic. Guy. He is. Strategy. There's a reason he's been the champ for so long, Daryl McCoy. I mean, he, he and Mr. Higgins. Let's not forget Mr. Higgins, the yes. X handle. Yes. Oh, caught him with that boot. Oh. Vicious forearm. The champ back in control again. You see how fast the attack can it turn can here. It can turn really quick. Baited Michaels in. One for the eyes. I, I gouge here. Get out of those eyes. My Mr. Goodness. Official needs to, again. He needs to get the action back to the ring. You get different officials. Uh, no different in basketball and football. Some are a little bit more strict. Some are a little bit more lenient. Oh, reversal into the barricade. Well, the barricade actually came loose there. Yes. Where it turns that corner, the barricade is loose. 
He hit that hard enough to knock it out of that socket. That upper rib cage, grabbing at that upper rib cage. Sierra is. Michaels on the attack. Again, Stan asking for a timeout. Be leery. Be leery. Don't go into no man's He has land, something up his sleeve, no doubt. Look at this. He's got something up his sleeve. Oh, oh there you go. Thump to the oh. eyes. Right to the eye. Man, he caught him hard, too. Quick. Oh, wow. What a shot to the turnbuckle. That had some force with the choke now. Driving his man back into that corner. And you can see why Stan has been a heavyweight champion for two years. Master psychologist in the ring. Yes, he, he knows his craft well. Oh, oh my. he missed that big chop. Michaels firing and chops up his own, and again. He's hammering away. Stop. I rate. Again, that always turned the tables. Oh. Big fella down. Shades of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat with that, JR. Yes, yes. I saw that. Yo, this, this match, the, the promoters, and I'm going to say this, they put this match together with the champion defending against Chris Michael. They, Super job. <laughs> I agree. Unbelievable job by the AMW it. Heavyweight Committee to put this match together to get these two in the ring. Oh. Oh. Well. And Stan just. Uh, that's not good. Caught the official with a thumb to the eye. It was an accident. It was an accident. Um, yeah. He's going to the trunk. Watch out. Oh, oh. my goodness. What's he got? Something. Was that a, his chain or set of brass knuckles? I couldn't tell. For an object, nonetheless. I cannot. Yes, I can believe after all. My hooker by Crook. Can he get him? And here he is. He just waylaid him. Oh, oh. What a, oh my. Duke out. Michael said not so today. Close. Not now. If the champ had a chance, that would have been it right there. Again, the official needs to a little more lenient in these championship bouts. Well, uh, Stan brings a hardware store everywhere he goes. Uh, so far, it's been a good, clean fight by Stan. Daryl McCoy, it's, it's been a it's been a Stan. Stan Brawl, no doubt about it, hadn't it, Jay Hart? Yes, it has. And now look what he's resorting to, using his own shirt as a choking weapon. Referee manages to power it away from him. We're t uh, 10 minutes into this heavyweight bout. 20 minutes remaining. Stan pulling out all stops. If Michaels is going to have a shot, he's got to get some offense going. And another shot. Rocks Champion the big man. Oh. Going for a quick cover. Hooks the leg. But no cigar. Absolutely. Michaels didn't come this far to come this far. Plenty of gas left in the tank. Stan Sierra. And telling the official to move out of the way. Ooh, big elbow. Mm, drops a big Man. time elbow. He crashed him. Michaels. Well, the referee needs to back him off. He was just trying to help him up, guys. Yeah, Michaels being choked. He's really had the deck stacked against him tonight from the get-go with Stan Sierra and his hardware He's store. fighting him, JR. And his illegal, dirty tactics. Doing anything he can.
to remain the champion. That's he what he's that doing. Out, JR. That's blasting me. That's what he's doing. Match, yeah, well, we've a clean match. We've seen. Well, <laughs> okay, that's a matter of opinion in there, but he is just absolutely. He is absolutely dominating the match by use of illegal tactics, and I'm sure you agree with me, too. Yes, I totally agree with that, Jr. You're gonna make me sick. Hook, hooker by great. crook, right? Hooker by crook. Hooker by crook. Going back to that I rig. And I and I'll go back to this, uh, guys. As long as the official is allowing the leniency in this match. Stan Sierra being the champ, you've got to do whatever it takes to retain that title though. in that aspect. In that aspect, you are telling the truth. If you're out there, that you're doesn't the make champion. it right. That doesn't make it right. But sometimes dire needs, uh, dire bad times calls for uh, right. bad tactics, yes. and it happens. Right. I've seen it. Uh, you know, we've had a few surprises tonight. Gazana, the tactics that he pulled. Uh, All right. Right on down the line, just several things, and this is no different. No no different at all. No different. And when you're battling for something as prestigious as the AMW Championship, yes. listen, it's I've you seen, do what it takes. I've seen nothing but a good, clean match from the GOAT. Well, what match are you watching? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Pay the man his respect. Power slam. Boy, that full scoop slam, that had to hurt. Absolutely. Michaels, he's on the receiving end of some treacherous, treacherous body slams, elbows, and, chokes. And that's what I was going to say, JR, is Stan's yeah. been on the offensive now for quite some time. Oh, yeah. It's just like anything he can do. And here we go back he's again. He's wrapping that chain. Okay, the referee sees him this time. He's got to take that away from him. He cannot allow this to happen. Wait a minute. Hey, hold on. He's rolled him up. The referee. What's the referee doing here? Turn around and get this pinfall here. One, two. You could have. Uh, listen, that would have been a count, a count of eight. Yes, easily. Michael easily. Pulled off the cheat move there. He was talking to the official, and then he comes up behind him with a cheap shot. That's not the way to win. Well, uh, I'll tell you one thing. That uh, he's calling for the fan support. That can't continue to happen, is what I'm saying. Look at this. Champion in trouble. Big fist right to the forehead. Michaels. Oh yeah, yeah. Chris Michaels said. Give him one to grow on, maybe. Absolutely. You got Sierra reeling now. Michael's on the offensive. Close Kicks out. So close. So Michaels close. Michaels is going to have to stay on him, not give him a breather if he's going to have any chance at all. And you got to hook that leg. You have to hook that leg. Michaels, thumb to the fingers. Just really Riding rocking the and champ. A, and the champ going back for the eyes once more. Smashes the head into the turnbuckle there. Champ feeling confident. Goes in. Nobody home. Michaels with the backdrop. Michaels on fire now. Takes the champ. Up and over, up and over and onto the floor. Stan Sierra in trouble. The champ is down. Referee throwing that count. And Michaels trying to find the strength to pull himself up. No, he's going outside of the ring, guys. I don't know if that was a good move or a bad move on Michaels' part. Trying to find that reserve, Michaels. He might have fell into something here. That oh wait, hold oh, on. We'll have some payback now. Look at oh this. my goodness. I expect nothing less. My goodness. Look at this dirty move. He's begging. He's pleading. Don't do it. Oh. Connected. Oh. Oh, he connected right to that ring post. 
And the champ, he's going to feel some pain tomorrow, I'm afraid. Michael. Michael's continues with the cheap shot. Daryl McCoy, Michael seems to have gotten a second win, though, just in the nick of time, just when you think things were – he was on in dire straits. Oh. oh. What a drop. What's Michael's going to do here? Step over. Is he going for it? He's Let's going see. to go for it, I do believe. Got all the momentum, the fans support. Oh! Oh my goodness! The champ! Forehead to the family jewels. Sarah feeling that one. And he'll feel it for quite some time. He win, is, lose, or draw. He is in a very bad way, I gotta say. Fire with that. fire, that's all I gotta say about it. That's what they call a true head job. Something like that, Darrell McCoy. Yeah. He said, no, he's not giving up. But I'll tell you one thing, the pain shows on his face, does it not? Oh. Oh. Now, insult to injury here. Stand Michael's Sarah. on the offensive. Going to bring him in. Back into the ring. Champ in trouble. Cover two. But no, sir. That's it's, it's still going to take more than that to hold the champion down. Absolutely. You got to hand it to Chris Michaels. He's firing everything in here that he can to and battle. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. You know, to battle back, uh, to come back. This Moment. match. It has to be getting close to time. I'm not sure. Oh, set him in that. Oh, out. Mm. He's waited a little too long. Big boot. Yeah, he ran in there and met that big boot. Double axe handle. Look at this. Using that top rope for leverage. Get a little leverage. Applying pressure to Michaels. Again, this is the AMW heavyweight title on the line here. Jackson, Kentucky. Oh, yeah, it's the King of the Mountains pay-per-view. Don't get any better. Stan can't Sierra, Chris Michaels. Can't get any better than this, guys. He's working on that left hand right now, Michaels. Yes, he is. Just had a bottle in yeah. the ring. Fans throwing. Okay. Oh, watch out. Objects well, in the there ring. he goes again. Look at this one. What's, What's he, got? he got? Brass his knuckles. Hand. It's like brass knuckles or something here, and he's... He's digging it, really digging it in right now. Oh, my. Well, the referee can't keep up with the champion with what he's doing here. Uh, using so many different weapons in let's, here. Let's see the replay on that. He's, he's digging it, really digging it in right now. Oh, my. Digging it in right there. Here we go again, as you can see. Back for the trunks. Pulling something out of his trunks. Ten minutes left in the match. Twenty minutes has passed. Michaels mm. has got to get on him to get it. We're coming down to the wire here, ladies and gentlemen. Heavyweight championship on the line. We are coming down to the wire indeed. The champion. Runs himself into the, oh, good oh, back. Oh. Well, big clothesline took him for a ride. He waylaid him right out of there. He is on the outside in a lot of pain, and the champion is gloating around. Michaels took a hard spill out on the floor. Heckling back at the crowd and just carrying on in his arrogant ways, and now he goes outside. Got his man dropped over that. Uh, security rail. Oh, that close fist to the head. A lot of power behind them punches. Official trying to get both competitors back in the ring. There it went, that back against the edge of that railing. That angle iron, it don't give, let me tell you. And a great, you know, you, you spoke to it a while ago about his IQ. Great job resetting the count. Oh, my. Yes. 
the champion. Wow, he hit that steel ring post. You can't take nothing away from the champion. Do I like his taxes? Absolutely not. But he does know what he's doing inside that square circle. Absolutely. A true ring veteran. Knows the ins and outs. Michael, well, the referee, he's towing the town here, guys. Michael, Michaels, he's going after that hand. Champ in trouble now. Chris Michaels makes it to the inside, which breaks the count. I mean, once again, Michaels you know, just dropping down and using the elite illegal object, using the barricade as a weapon. Darrell McCoy, you know this as well as I know, championship on the line. Yeah, you're going to bring everything you got. That's a nice shoulder lock here, Coach. Chris Michaels. With the arm in play. He's Michael. really cranking in that arm bar, but I don't know if that's enough. Don't think it's enough. I don't think he has it uh, exactly how he wants it. To, uh, the type of pressure to, to make Stan mm -hmm. give up. You have to give the devil's due. He's one tough egg. He is indeed. Yeah, you can't take anything away from the champion because he is the champion. I mean, that's, it speaks for itself. One, one of the longest reigning champions in North America. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's – and the list goes on and on and on from competitor to competitor that he has defeated. I mean, the By hook or crook, but still had. the victories. Touch in his mouth. Touch him mouth. Daryl McCoy, go. he's not a. I, I told you, Jr. Listen, it, it don't take long for Daryl McCoy to well, show his true colors. I tell you, I mean, <laughs> he's uh, he's showed me a thing or two tonight. And you keep about talking his. about staying like that. I'm gonna show you something else. Oh my! Well, oh, I'm my. telling you. My goodness. You know, hey, listen, it, it ain't nothing new, JR. It ain't just you. Oh I deal with this man on a nightly basis. Uh, I'll tell you something. He's he's certainly got the wrong attitude. Are you guys sure that Stan and Daryl didn't meet before this <laughs> match started? <laughs> I'm beginning to, <laughs> to wonder. We all have a soda together or, or something or <laughs> something. Daryl McCoy said they have the same barber. Well, Stan Sarah. <laughs> oh, misses the oh. elbow. This could be another turning point. Let's see what happens here, Coach. Now, I'm just impressed with the agility by Stan. I mean, nearly seven foot tall and moves like a luchador. Absolutely. Chris Michaels finding something. Yes, sir. Well, Adrenaline. Takes another one. Wow. Rocking Stan Sierra. Chris Michaels off the ropes. The big fella. Takes another one. And again, the time clock is ticking down on this thing. We are approaching the time limit. Look at this. Five, beautiful side suplex. He's five minutes. The leg. Two. Five minutes remaining. Okay. Both these competitors have given absolutely everything. Yes, they have. What a match this has been. To entertain the fans. Heavyweight championship on the line. Michaels. Oh, went for a super kick, JR. Well, he caught it. Stan caught that super kick. Tried to throw it off. Goes for the eyes. He's where he wants him now in the corner. Takes his man all the way across. And Stan Sierra's always got a backup plan. However, Michaels, Michaels moves out of the way in the nick of time three. here. Russian leg sweep. Beautiful, beautifully executed in the center. Rank two. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Two and three quarters. These two Coach, athletes. What action we've had. It's been seesaw. It's been give and take. This match, unbelievably, unbe unbelievably a rough, rough, tough match. And the fans are really getting their money's worth tonight. Look at this. 
to the corner, back off, scoops his man, sad suit play, drops him in the yes, center sir. of the ring. Tocha cannot believe the intensity. Oh, what's, what's this about? The shoulder came up, stands here a little overconfident, a little overconfident. But the champion. Again, Both men gassed. Both men exhausted. But, but now the, the time clock is factored in. Absolutely. It's in Stan's hands right now. Time is on the champ's side right now. Michaels will have to make a comeback here. Well, you have to, you've got to hand it to the champ. He knows exactly how to pace a match out, doesn't he? At, what does this prove, G-Man? What does it prove? I, I'm not denying he does not know what he does in on this circle. On behalf of the champ. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Okay. Knee to the bread basket. And again, trying to knock the wind out of his opponent. Either way this match goes, they oh. took each other to the limit. Absolutely. You got to give credit to both mm. individuals here. Well, I'll tell you, he hit him hard in that corner. He just, man, flipped him up and over. And right back down. Luckily, he landed on the inside of the ring instead of going all the way over the top rope. Absolutely. Stan Sierra feeling like he's in control. Probably shouldn't give Michaels too much time to recuperate, to recover. Part of the Super Series, it is King of the Mountains. Breathitt County, Kentucky, D&D Sports. Elbow. Appalachia Mount Grassland. Look out! Super oh! kick! And he, he caught him! He's he got to get him. him! He's got to get to pin. The super kick! He caught him! Good we night. can have a new, a new champion here, guys. Let's see what happens. Can he get him? Oh, two wow. and three quarters. My goodness. Oh, my. Everyone felt it. We had thought we had a new champion right there. Stan Sierra. Super kicked him straight to Hazard, Kentucky, JR. Yes. Sierra, yes, he did. fans, at the, it's like having wind at your back here. The I fans mean. giving him that little something extra. Super kick number two. Him again. Oh, he got him again. This could do it. He's got to go for the pin. One this minute. Do it. One minute left. Go in there for the pin. The champ is out. He is down. What is going on here? Michaels needs to recompose himself and get on top of the champion Can to score this victory. If he's going to do it, now is the time. Can Michaels make the cover? Everything in the veteran. Is rolling out of the ring. Stan Sierra. Smart move on his behalf. Sierra, Michaels, bringing him back into the ring. He's bringing him back in. We could still see the title change hands, G-Man. We could at any moment. Small package. Right. Small cradle. He got out of the small package. Barely. Time ticking, guys. Off the ropes. Reverse. Michaels. Got him. So, somehow he got the red root to fall there. We're coming right here. Misses. Super kick. Oh, oh, he caught him. He, he caught him. He, 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 get there. he has to get on him. One. Two. Wait a minute. Oh, what do we got? Do we have we a new champion? champion? Do we have we a new champion? No, what's do we, going on? Do we have a new champion? Oh, I think time expired, guys. Wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Three, Four. This is a draw. Wait a minute. No. What? Wait, Wait a, a minute. Time with a draw. Hold on here. Michaels called him with a super kick. L let's take a look at this one more time. Yeah, we've got to go back on this one. Are you kidding me? Dump. Somehow he got the red root to fall there. We're coming right here. Misses. Super kick. Oh, oh, he caught him. He, he, he caught him. No, my. Can you believe this, JR? Michael Michaels sure catches Sierra with a third super kick within a span of two minutes. Time limit draw.
by the official's decision. Well, the wrestling gods come into play. Man, I'll close. tell you one thing. Nobody's going to win after Unbelievable. that dirty tactics like Michaels did. Brother, the office has to sign another match to settle this. Something, some point. yeah, absolutely. Guys, I'm flabbergasted again. And I know I've said that before tonight, but this night has been, this is total chaos here. 30 wow. minute time limit draw, A&W Championship. Stan Sierra retains to fight another day. Michaels, he, my oh my. He has Stan bandana and glasses on. Yes, and he's asking for five more minutes. He wants five more minutes. He wants five more minutes. I don't think he's going to get it. Stan Sierra says, you know what? You're going to have to sign me another contract. He retains the title. Well, you know, guys, I have to say it. We have to go with the official decision on this one, like it or not. And he is still the AMW heavyweight champion. Stan Again, uh, JR, he lives to fight another day. Yes. And there's a reason he is the AMW champion. One of the very best this profession has to offer. And oh yeah, he defeated another absolute elite level talent in yes, Chris Michaels. True, very very well spoken. Uh, the referee here is in a bad, bad predicament. He don't really have the power to say, okay, let's open this thing back up into another title match five on. That would be another contract signing. Absolutely. True. Yeah. Stan Sierra so heading the, back so to the, the locker room yeah. as AMW champion Chris Michaels yeah, says, we'll, 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 we'll meet again down the road, big fella. And the referee not having the authority to give him that five more minutes, unfortunately. Chris Michaels thanking but, the fans for their support here yeah. in Jackson, Kentucky. Yeah. King of the Mountains, double main event. J listen, AMW championship, Stan Sierra retains up next is the King of the Mountain Championship, well, King of the Mountain Tournament Next Championship. Up, guys, King of the Mountain Championship, King of Marty the Mountain Clay Championship. and A.J. Kazan. It's going to be a good one. Unbelievable. We'll take a quick break. Be right back here on AMW Wrestling. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. We're back here, D&D Sports Network, King of the Mountains pay-per-view. Jackson, Kentucky is the King of the Mountain tournament championship event. Oh, yeah, it's Marty Clay returning after two years against A.J. Costanza. Wow. But how is Marty after that beating oh, from Big a Misery? Good, a good factor to bring into this, G-Man. I'm concerned. I was concerned then when it happened. But I'll tell you one thing. There's electricity in the air. There's electricity Absolutely. here. AJ Kazana, Jr. What happened earlier? Oh my goodness! We saw a turn in him <laughs> we haven't seen. <laughs> yeah. And I got a feeling the crowd is solidly behind Mr. Marty. Oh, Clay. there's no doubt about it. They're solid behind him tonight. I am sitting on the edge of my seat here. Oh my goodness! I can't wait for this one. Looks like AJ. Going to have some, some comments for the fans here in Jackson, Kentucky. A.J. Kazana, one of the very best <clears throat> on the independent scene, Jr. With a history of his. Ladies, and whatever the hell else the rest of you are called, find your ways to your seats. I'm going to bless you one more time. Except this time, I'll do my own announcement since you can't get my name right. Shut up, you freaking hag. Oh, strong words for our announcer, CJ. I yeah. came out here I came 
not here as a favor. I came here from the greatest state on God's green earth, Tennessee, to do you folks a favor and show you what real professional wrestling is like. I'm talking to you, you toothless bastard. Oh my. Wow. Oh my. I don't get paid enough to deal with this. I don't get paid by the hour, but by God, when I get the chance to talk, you're gonna shut your mouths, sit down and listen. I drove from Knoxville, Tennessee. Tried to be friendly with folks from Kentucky. And you immediately met me with hate. Now, I've got to wrestle Marty the Clown. I think that's his name, right? Marty Clown. You know, just check the Tennessee Volunteer score. We're winning, by the way, if you wonder. But, Kyle Mago! I hope you've got insurance because I'm going to do to Marty Clay what Perry Central did to y'all last week. I'm going to beat him from pillar to post and I'm going to leave him laying a heap of a man in the middle of this ring. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hey. AJ Kazana, Marty Clay wasted no time. He took great offense to what AJ was saying, guys. We are into it. We are into the match now. What a way to start the championship match of King of the Mountain. This is the King of the Mountain fight finale here. Main event action. We've been with you from start to finish. My oh my, what a night. And again, it's been brought to you by, by D&D Sports. Absolutely, D&D Sports. AMW, unbelievable partnership. Look at Marty Clay go. Marty Clay firing in those right fists. Marty Clay. Reverse. The Real sound officially underway. Oh, my drop kick that sends Kazana out of the ring and onto the floor, G Man. Coach, I'll tell you something. This has been long awaited. It's been talked about, and we're going to get results here. Absolutely. We're going to get it right here, right now in Jackson, Kentucky. We're going to find out who King of the Mountains really is. Oh, oh, oh. Tide turned really quick. Again, strength advantage, AJ Kazana. Uh, Kazana. We got to remember, he's a third generation wrestler. Yes, he is. He's been well versed through the years, for sure. Veteran of the sport, no doubt. He's can't take anything away from him, but I'll tell you something, his attitude has changed for the worse. He has really, really got a stinking attitude out here, but nevertheless, he's a well of a competitor, and him and Marty Clay's battling out to see tonight who is king of the room. Uh, you said it third generation, you know, when it comes down to just experience and veteran, it's only the Kazana family and the Hart Foundation. Marty Clay fired That is up. a good point. Yeah. yeah. Marty Clay. Oh. A hometown product. Well. And again, Marty Clay. Watch out. Mm, double thrust. You see that? Yeah. That's experience there. Right to the third. Official trying to get control, trying to get, trying to get these individuals back into the ring. Zana, man, I tell you, I heard that one ring out from here. Absolutely. We're up in the stands. Let me say, let me say this right here. When you have athletes of this caliber in here, you're going to have a well of a match. I don't care. Plus, putting up the title of King of the oh. Mountains. <laughs> what a right hand from Marty. That intensifies everything, doesn't it? Absolutely. Makes the stakes higher. And Your Marty play. Could be an uppercut. Here. Yeah. 
Kazana rolls back in the ring. Probably a wise de decision here. Misses the elbow. Play. Marty's so quick, you just never know where he's going to come from. Play. Oh. Big oh. knee. Nailed Kazana with that high knee. Oh, man. Oh, oh wow. Again, JR, you, you talk about hearing it. You can hear it up here. Yeah. The impact. I, could, I believe I could almost feel that one. I'm telling you. These guys are going at it nip and tuck. Tooth and nail, if you would. Kazana's well, found him a weak spot here. Kazana. Sizing him up. As you said, JR, he found a weak spot. He's working on it. He's Focusing in on that shoulder, that arm. Working the shoulder. Absolutely, Daryl. Well, he played a lot of pain. Using that chicken wing effectively here. Uh, he's applying the pressure of that chicken wing for sure. You can see it all over Marty's face. F fans. Let's take a look at that throat punch. Little instant replay. Yeah, let's see that. Official trying to get control, trying to get, trying to get these individuals back into the ring. Zana. What a throat punch there is. Right yeah. now, he's still working on that arm. Oh, yeah. Snapping that arm there. Marty Clay reaching to grab that rope. He is in pain. The fans, the, the you, Marty I'm, Clay fans, they are kind of just silenced right now. I'm really concerned. I'm really concerned about the arm. Well, okay. Uh, uh, was he went to the old hump jump. And, uh, you know, really, right now, Marty Clay, I don't know how he's going to carry on. No. I don't. After the beating he took earlier as well. Oh! Two count. Marty Clay in a world of pain right now. I'm, I'm concerned uh, about that arm being injured like that. You know, Marty, uh, a young wrestler, uh, well traveled, uh, just doing so good. And I'd hate for a permanent injury to Absolutely. come up and take him out of the sport. I really would. Absolutely. But that's a danger they face every match, you know. Every single time they step in the the ring, you risk a career-ending injury. Stand in full, uh, excuse me, uh, Kazan, Kazana in full control. Well, I well, well. say that, right? Okay, he went up and over that rope. Did he, turn, did he turn an ankle or knee? Looked like he turned his knee. Okay, he, he can have a knee injury here. So we have both men practically um, well, mm. equally injured. Look Big rights. Yeah, Marty Clay capitalizing on the injury. Uh, again, this could be the break he needed. Absolutely. Well, I'm just not sure. This is uh, oh, this is bad for both competitors. Zana counters. We've got to find a winner here. I mean, someone's coming out crowned. Absolutely. Who's, tonight. who's gonna be king of the mountain? Who's gonna be king of the mountains tonight, fans? This has been a real lineup, I'll tell you. Absolutely. From bell from the uh, opening bell, JR. All the fun, all the excitement. <laughs> AMW wrestling. We're so appreciative to D and D sports. We just can't say enough about you guys. And it's been an honor to work with them tonight. And right here, bringing it to the fans live and in living color is just such a such an honor. It really is. And guys, we're just getting started with this partnership. It's going to continue. He's saying it's time. Zana, well, he came in here with one thing on his mind and one thing only, and he wants to take home the crown. And he doesn't care who he has to hurt, what he has to go through. Kazana's got a mean streak, there's no doubt about it. 
Uh-oh, is he going back to the hump jump? Susanna. This could be it. Susanna called it. Yep. Oh! Play. Nice shoulder to the upper body. Marty Clay working hard. Beautiful kip up. He comes back. Picks his man up. Drops him with that suplex. Marty Clay on fire. Marty Clay taking it to A.J. Kazana. Fans, you are seeing it right here. Brother County, Kentucky. What a crowd. He's continuing to defy odds. You know, giving up over 100 pounds to Kyle Maggard. Now giving up nearly 200 pounds here to A.J. Kazana. Somehow Marty Clay getting it done. Yes. Look at this from the top. Oh, Tony. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's Marty Clay. Marty's feeling it. Uses that double leg kick well. Uh, Marty Clay, boy, he certainly has these fans in the palm of his hand. I'll say that. He's going up high. Look how high. Look at this. Beautiful frog splash. Get through. him. Wow. Oh, and he hits the referee. Wow. I thought it. I thought it was the end, G Man. I did too. I thought that was it. He's going for. Is he going for the slice I bread? Think he's going for it. But watch oh, it. Oh no! Oh wow! Oh man! Now keep in mind, fans. Whether you realize it or not, those are not just ropes. That's actually a steel cable inside of that tubing. Absolutely. Oh man! Is Look this at this. It? This could be it too. Oh, did he get him? A two count. No, two so count. close. So close. So fella. close. Yes, so close. Both individuals absolutely given everything they got here. Everything on the line, guys. Two of the very best. Indeed. Indeed. In total agreement with you. Hosanna, patient, turn his back. And play. Perhaps he's underestimated Marty Clay. A wild swing misses. Look out, Marty Clay has opened up. Marty Clay, he's showing him he can go fist to cuffs, and that's exactly what he's doing, G. For a small guy, he can go toe to toe with fist to cuffs. And you nailed it, it was toe to toe here. Clay. Oh, oh look oh. out. Zana moves the official. Look out. Mm. In the middle. Okay, look at that splash, Kazana. Oh, spine buster. Is this it here? Oh, oh, oh. Good count. Oh, oh, that is as close as close can be, guys. That was so close. My goodness. What a matchup, fans. Everything you had hoped for you, and more. You talk about one of the record books, regardless of the winner. This one has been a beer barn burn. Oh, he's got that cattle prod uh, again. No, no. Watch him ref. Referee still dazed from that one, rightfully so. He was called hard. Zana, Come on, ref. Look up. The cattle prod in hand. Marty Clay still down. Well, the referee, as I say, he's still dazed. He's having to hold on to the ropes. Absolutely. Oh, hold on. He called it at the hold last second. On. The referee called him. Oh, oh, low blow. Uppercut. Yeah, he caught him with that low blow and uppercut. This could be it. Hooks the leg. Oh, did he get him? Three. He, he, got, he, got, he, got, he got, got him. He got him. He got him. He got him. My goodness. What a way to oh, pull that one off. My goodness. I thought we had a turn. A.J. Kazana. A.J. Kazana, your king of the mountain champion. Wow. wow. What uh, a finish. Uh, what a gosh. match. Man. Two individuals going toe to toe. What a night. What a night. What a night. Wow. What a night. I really thought there was going to be a turnaround when the referee found uh, the uh, 
He got him there. Yes, sir. Good. The cattle prod. Cattle prod. But now, you know, referee days and, and everything himself. Marty Clay's still out. Yeah, Marty Clay's hurt. I he, mean, he, we may uh, need some medical attention out here. Yeah. Kazana. Oh, yeah. King of the Mountain tournament champion. Yeah. Very prestigious. He's going to walk away here well, feeling really, really good tonight. I'll tell you one thing. Marty Clay gave a heck of a show for himself tonight. Absolutely. Yes, he did. That's coming, all I can say. Coming back home, Jackson, Kentucky, nothing to be ashamed about, especially when you talk about uh, Mr. Kazana. I mean, yes. you, you, yeah. listen, that's two of the very best going at it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say this. We have beautiful fans, beautiful fan base from the wrestlers, and we love them. Let's go down here and see what's going on. At this time, we're going to. Oh, the carnation. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to crown. Yeah. We want to crown the AMW King of the Mountains 2023 champion, third generation. Shut up, you freaking hacks! You airbred sissies, sit down and listen to your king speak. God, Margaret, I told you, son. I told all you people. I'm the man. I came from the great Smoky Mountains in East Tennessee to whip up on this family-loving, fake, corn-fed boy. Hell, Marty. When you look at me, you know I'm Southern Bear Corn Fan. I just cracked your head, son. But where's that stupid announcer? My name is AJ Kazana. I'm Billy Corgan, National Wrestling Alliance chosen boot. I am your king of this here mountain. And you'll sit down, and you'll sit down. Don't back up to me, boy. I'll come out there and slap the rest of the teeth out of your mouth. I don't need this. All right, go cheer on your Kentucky Wildcats as they go 0-12. Go cheer on your Louisville Cardinals. I'm going back to East Tennessee to wear that beautiful Pantone 151 orange. And yeah. Go Vols. AJ Kazana being crowned king of the mountains. There he is, wearing the crown. Well, just look at him here. And Very deserving of that title, uh, too. Well, the question is when is he going to have his title shot? He will have that option now. Absolutely. A title shot is certainly in the cards down the road. Stan Sierra retains. Oh, yeah. You got to love it. Crazy that. Crazy Unbelievable.